Borussia Dortmund should have been top of the Bundesliga. Right now, Gab, we should be talking about them as that. But they're not because they managed to once again throw away a lead and lose 3-2 away to Cologne and flat cap cut hero Stefan Baumgartner. Gab, are you going to make excuses for Edin Terzic again? First of all, I just want to mention how badass Baumgart is. Like oh, seriously, so in a street good. fight, I would take Baumgart over. Oh, you would be, I, I, I need to make my top 10, but I'm pretty sure Baumgart would be there. Right? You know, you know, the flat cap would not move as he's punching. <laughs> yeah, I know, he's awesome. He's so good. Um, like, I, I, we, we've seen, okay, all right, injuries, all right, no Gio Reyna, yeah, uh, no, obviously no Haller, whatever. But in the first half, they take the lead. Julian Braun actually does something, scores a nice goal. Yeah, and yeah. then, you know, they had the chances and so on. And then the second half starts, and it's they're one just mistake crumbling. after another. Munia, Schlotterbeck losing his guy. Again. And then they're, 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 and then they're 3-1 down, and they score a goal in garbage time. Um, I think it's time to say, Anthony, you're going to be our Peter Crouch. You're going to be the guy who's good at heading the ball, who we keep yeah. on the bench. Mr. Modest, yeah. and then we send you on when we need to lump I the mean, ball, which hopefully will be never. Play Mukoko. I know. I don't care. Yeah. He's, he's, he's not 15 anymore. He's 19. Like this. Why would you start Modest against his former club when you know he's going to get so much? No, and he just doesn't fit the Radish. way they play. He's just a different type fit. of player. No, definitely. Timo Werner and Christopher Nkunku scored two each as Leipzig pound Bochum four 0 They needed this, Jules. Yeah, really much so, and they played really. I mean, Bochum. I like. Come on. Really, uh, but it is that even if you play against a rubbish team that are not very good, you need you know you you need to go and score those goals. Two each is very good momentum before the Champions League as well. Bit of confidence for Marco Rosa. This is this was this was positive. And speaking of Leipzig, Gab David Austin in the Athletic reports that Christopher Nkunku has completed a medical. I was told it was not a medical, by the way, but we'll see. And he's on his way to Chelsea yeah. for next summer. That would be quite cool for Todd Brady. It would be tremendous. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure because the report also says that they paid more than the release clause. It, does his release clause not kick in next summer? Is that yeah, it does, yeah. 60 million euros. So why would they pay more than the release clause? Makes no sense. Why do you do, do a medical right now? Because okay. well, nothing can happen in 12 months. Like you can't, have, can't pick up an injury, can't pick up a problem. I find this yeah. story really weird because I was told <laughs> again by someone very well informed that it was not a medical per se. For Chelsea Football Club, like he which was, doctors like and open your mouth and say ah. No, for like, insurance reasons, he had to do like some sort of medical test, which I think some of them is probably la uh, probably lack a medical, but not as a proper medical per se. I'm also not a hundred percent sure why you would pay more than the release clause. In, in other words, if you sign the deal with the player, I'm I'm the player's agent, yeah, um, and then you just activate the release clause in the summer, you get. The player, yeah. right? Um, it's not. I mean, un unless the release clause doesn't actually become effective until the summer, which is which I suppose is but possible. You, but, but you can't, can't register the transfer now anyway. Now anyway. Right? Yeah. yeah. So. So I mean, and for all you know, Nkunku could decide to quit football and go join a cult. Yeah, now exactly. And then, but even I, for him, why would you not wait until the end of the okay, season? But let's talk about on the pitch, though. Yeah. On the pitch, do we agree this is a tremendous signing? For yeah. Chelsea. Oh, what player? And Fantastic. I think this is exactly. This is exactly, I think, what they need if, if he can settle. He's such a cross um, player as well. Such a, I mean, I know they, that was before Graham Potter, but he's such, I think, a Graham Potter player. That said, too many bodies. If I'm Ziyech, if I'm Pulisic, I really start looking around. Yeah. I think they still need to address the deeper midfield position because he's yeah, not going to yeah, play course. in the two there, right? Completely. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.